Hi, this is Chris Massiello from vitamincm.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Tidy Songs to clean up all the data in your iTunes music library. So I have my iTunes music library open right now. I have about 6,900 songs in there. Now most of them I have all the data for the album, artist, song name, the, the cover art in pretty good shape. But if I do some sorts, you'll see there's a couple areas where I'm missing things like uh, artist name, album name, genre, year, track numbers, things like that. Now I could go look all these up on the internet and kind of manually type them in and when you have a library that's you know bordering a couple thousand songs this is going to just take you forever and it's horribly inefficient. So there's a nice little piece of software called Tidy Songs that you can download from their website tidysongs.com and once you install it, which takes only a couple seconds, it just finds your iTunes library and it starts to look at all the data in your library. So it's the same data that the iTunes application is looking at. So I'm going to just click the start button and this shows me the different features that I can do. So I can add album art. So if I click on this, I'll select a playlist to fix. So let's say this particular playlist. And I can go one by one or automatic. So if I click automatic, it's going to start. Now I could set the confidence level 80, 90, 100%. Depends how much uh, you care. But you can just find an album and it will add them. So once you find an album cover that you're comfortable with, you can click Add, and it will add the album art to that song or album. So when it's done finding all the art in the playlist, it will say Finished. Now if I jump back over here to iTunes and go to that playlist, and I'll put it in the cover flow view. So I go through, you can see it found uh, just about all the missing artwork. Uh, Might have missed one or two here and there. But you can see it's it added quite a bit. There was a bunch of them missing and it, it added them all. Now there's also some information missing such as like artist names, album names, genres, uh, years. Now there's also other pieces of data such as genre, album, artist, year that are missing. So I'm going to switch back to Tidy Songs and I'm going to go back to the main menu and then say fix your songs. So I'll say select a playlist to fix. And I'll go to that same playlist. I could go to all songs if I wanted. Select these check boxes and I'll say automatic. So it starts going through and it picks each song and it analyzes them and it gives a confidence rating as to how, how sure it is, whether the, the information is accurate. And if it's above the threshold I set, which was 80%, it will change it and update the information. So once it goes through and corrects all your data, you can scroll through, I can scroll through the playlist and you can see that all the fields are filled out now for all these albums. Being that I have so many songs on my computer, there's a couple that are duplicates for one reason or another. And if you want to clean out and find all these duplicates, you can just click the Find Duplicates button. So there are a few options here. You can use name, artist, and album, just name. So a lot of times I'll have a song, maybe there's a live version of it. So I don't want to just go by name and artist. I like to go by name, artist, and album. That way if I have the studio album, in the live album, it's not going to delete one of the versions. It tells me when it finds a duplicate, what do I want it to do? So I want it to pick the higher bit rate one, the one that's better quality. And when it finds a duplicate, what should it do with the file? So I can add duplicate to the comment field. That way I can pull it out later on my own. Or I can remove it from the iTunes folder and put it in a folder on my desktop that way I can delete it later or do whatever I want with it. So that's what I want to do. So I'll click the start button and let it run. Another feature that you can use is organize genres. If I click organize genres it will show me genres. Let's say I had uh, rock and hard rock or uh, punk and punk rock something like that. I could click on both of them and group them into one so it allows me to take multiple genres and map them into one, either all the same or one new one. So I'm 
pretty okay with the genres I have. So those are some of the pretty cool things that you can do with Tidy Songs to keep your iTunes library fully organized. You'll have all the tags and all the fields you want. You'll have a nice high resolution album art. You won't have all these duplicate songs clogging up your hard drive and you'll be able to make sure that your genres are organized and grouped so you can do things like build smart playlists based on genres and so uh Again, Tidy Songs, a really nice application to add on to iTunes to help keep it all organized.